Hey everybody, this is Vash. Today we're going to talk about how I went and added the shell scripts to a folder and made them so I just type in the direct shell script name and I have to do a bunch of other stuff. We're also going to talk about how I added that shell script to the KDE Plasma uh, service menu in Dolphin. So first up, I added my shell scripts to home, Michael, local, or dot local, slash bin. And uh, once I've done that, you can see both the files here. Once I've done that, you have to add that to the path. And to add that to the path, it is this simple command right here. Export path equals uh, variable path. And then as you see, and you just type in your directory there. So slash home slash Michael slash uh, dot local slash bin. And it's as simple as that. You don't have to do any kind of thing like that. I would just use this and type your path directly instead of this, like uh, this person is saying. And they're, they're mentioning there is a security drawback. So I would just do this and type in the path directly. The other piece that I was mentioning is over here. When I go and I right click on a file name, giving me the convert to MOV option. If you add multiple options, like if I had another option, I think I'd have an actions menu here instead of this. So that is something to keep in mind. Just keep in mind that if you have multiples, there will be an actions menu instead of just the actual option. Not a big deal, just something to keep in mind. But with that, the way you want to add that file is you have to add a dot desktop file to home, Michael, or your username rather, dot local, share, case services five, and service menus. I actually had to create this folder. I will be linking to a page that I found a lot of this information on. Uh, here we go. It's this post right here. And uh, I thought this was uh, pretty useful because you, uh, you could go in and, and get this all set up. But I, ultimately I had to create the, the, uh, the case services five and service menu item and that took care of that the other thing that you have to do once you've done that is you close dolphin and then you can run um this command right down here this you can run this um and that will for sure pick it up if it doesn't sometimes you can just close dolphin and and reopen it if you're using that user collection if you're trying to add it as a system setup you would add it here and again i have it right here I have not added it here. I tried adding it here just to see what difference it would make. And I mean, it doesn't really make a difference for what we're doing for our FFmpeg script. If you're doing something that needs to be ran, maybe as root or maybe it needs, you know, maybe there's something like that that it has to do. I mean, it would make more sense to do the root in the script. But if you're doing something that needs to be more at a system level for some reason, it may make more sense to add it here. But I I don't understand quite the technicalities on when that would be necessary. So when in doubt, I would just start with the user menu here and, and do it this way. Again, I had to create this folder, but not a big deal. It, it created just fine and it works perfectly. Um, and then this .desktop file, that is a pretty straightforward file. There is an example in this page. I'm just going to open mine really quick here so you have an idea of what you're looking at. Um, but it's very straightforward. Um, I took their example and I basically just changed stuff around to make it so that it would be, you know, using my my action and all that. And um, that did the trick. It uh, it worked like a charm. So that is how you can go and you can get these get this option to pop up in your. See, here's where you have the actions when you have convert to MOV, convert to MOV. I'm not sure why it's showing here this way. Um, when it doesn't elsewhere, but not a big deal. But that's that's where you're, that's where it's different. And here, see here, I don't have it. I don't have the option because this is a root folder. This is a folder that I'd have to sudo into to actually do anything with. So it kind of makes sense, I guess. But just kind of, just kind of strange. Or maybe, hang on. Oh, it's still there. There we go. So. I just, I, I was clicked off. So that's the one thing that you can't do right now with this particular setup. 
you cannot click on a folder and you cannot click in blank space, unfortunately. It's kind of weird that it does it that way, but if you click on a folder, you get the same options here. If you click in blank space, you get the same options here. So you have to click on an actual file. And um, again, with the way I've set up the script, it doesn't matter where you are. It just matters that you're clicking on a file. So it doesn't, doesn't matter either way. But that is all I have for today. Hopefully this has been useful and you can take this idea and, you know, do other scripts or type things that you're doing a lot with it. But um, I think the user creating the, the bin folder is particularly useful if you're going to be using a lot of scripts that, you know, you don't want to always have to go and type the name in or, you know, do all that other stuff, uh, go to the right directory or whatever for that. It just depends on, just depends on how you're, how you're running your scripts, how you're, how you're setting them up and all that. The other option to right click is kind of nice, but I don't know when, you know, you do have to make sure you can find a file while, you know, you can just press F4 or, you know, whatever your terminal key is, key combo is, and type it in really quick and be done with it. Just depends on what you like. But that is all for today. Hopefully it's been useful and have a great day, everybody.